What's up, Geeks and Gamers? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video, and today, Forbes. Forbes is here to save the day for Neil Cuckman. Forbes is here to white knight from Neil Cuckman and The Last of Us Part 2 and Naughty Dog, and they are so brave and stunning. My lady, my lady, Neil Cuckman, my lady. I am here to protect you from the internet, Neil Cuckman. Oh, so brave and stunning, Forbes. The same Forbes that never, ever ever mentioned the blatant copyright abuse from Sony, Naughty Dog, and Musso. Not one peep from Forbes, but the moment Forbes can speak up and paint this negative brush around fans, they are there to white knight milady. They are right there for it. So let's jump into it right here. After The Last of Us Part 2, Insanity, Metacritic has changed user score submissions. Because it's insanity for fans to be upset and to voice their opinion. It's insanity. Yet, we live in a world where it's insanity and dangerous to actually have an opinion online. But it's brave and stunning to protest and destroy communities and destroy businesses. This is the world we live in, ladies and gentlemen, right here. Pretty insane, isn't it? Um, this morning, I logged on to Metacritic to see what the average score had settled on Ghost of Tsushima out on PS4 today, and I saw that it's a respectable 83, but I also, also saw something else where normally we'd see user scores on the right. There's a message there I've never seen before. Please spend some time playing the game. Come back to review it starting at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on July 18th. This is new. We have previously seen user scores start to pile up either the day a game comes out or sometime even before that. But now Metacritic is making users wait more than 36 hours after release to start posting positive reviews, deeming that adequate time to believably play the game. This, of course, was inspired by the recent release of The Last of Us Part 2, where players used user scores to wage a proxy war on the game and sink the score to the low 3 out of 10s right at release. The game currently has more user scores than any game in history by an enormous margin as a result of this ongoing back and forth between detractors and champions. The initial issue was that there were thousands of reviews that came out almost instantly on the game's release, when it was physically impossible for players to have played more than a couple of hours. Given that length of story uh, was more than 20 to 30 hours, these people were submitting reviews based on things like story leaks, streamer playthroughs, or just getting to a single story uh, beat near the beginning and rushing off to write an angry review. This new 36-hour hold seems to be fighting against that directly. Fighting against opinions, ladies and gentlemen. We are fighting against opinions. We are brave and stunning. And we will not stop until the, inter the internet... <laughs> I can't keep this. <laughs> we will not stop until the internet has the opinions that we want. That is what's going on here. However, I am already seeing many people say that isn't enough. Of course it's not enough. It's never enough. It will never be enough. That's the entire point behind it. It's never enough. And it never will be enough. Some are asking Metacritic to go a step further and actually verify that you've played the game if you are submitting a review for it. Though some sort of purchase confirmation via linking your Metacritic account to your PSN or Xbox or Steam profile or something... While maybe they'll do that someday, that is a much more complicated thing to tackle, and it is, na it is not how most user score systems work across ma most major sites. I would be a little less surprised if, there was actually, if that was ever actually implemented at all. Even in a perfect world, it seems like the correct move. Um, Ghost of Tsushima does not seem like it's in danger of being user blah 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 blah. So there you go. Um, I mean, I love this line right here. I love this line right here. Where is it at? However, I am already seeing many people say this isn't enough. Welcome to 2020 left-wing logic. It is never enough. It will never be enough. There is never a line. There is never a place where these people are actually going to be happy. And that is what has to be understood about all of this. It's never enough. 
Last of Us Part Two is getting criticism because it deserves to get criticism. That's ultimately what it comes down to. If there's enough people out there that are upset about something, they should be able to voice th themselves in whatever capacity they want. And this all comes down to the fact is, you don't like what they're saying. If they were saying positive things, there wouldn't be an issue. Review bombing has been going on for as long as I can remember reviews being on the internet, positively and negatively. I've talked about this before. I'm a huge Christopher Nolan fan, and Christopher Nolan fans are insane. And we love this dude so much, and we praise his movies so much. And some of his movies have a much higher user review than I think they probably deserve, but Nolan fans are insane. And they go and they positively review bomb his movies. It's just what happens. It's the fucking internet. It's not that big of a deal. This isn't really hurting anyone. It's just an avenue to get a perspective of how passionate people are, whether that be positive passion or negative passion. It's that simple. But here we are where we have to protect Naughty Dog from criticisms. Criticisms that they have earned. Criticisms that they have earned rightfully so. And eventually we're just going to have it to where everybody says the safe thing because no one wants to get in trouble. This is garbage. This is nonsense. And it's laughable. And we're going to continue to laugh at it all day long. Um, but you know how I feel about Naughty Dog and Neil Cuckman and uh, their nonsensical business practices and everything that's happened with me and so many other content creators in terms of getting fake strikes on channels, um, in terms of getting fake DMC um, complaints on Twitter. Um, my account on Twitter, I guess, got suspended because of Naughty Dog, but I really don't know. I still haven't heard anything official from Twitter. So I really don't know why my Twitter account was suspended. And again, I'm a I'm nothing compared to someone like a Dr. Disrespect. And Dr. Disrespect was banned from Twitch, and he doesn't know why. And if, if Dr. Disrespect can't get answers, I don't expect I'm going to get any answers. Um, but, you know, 23,000 followers on Twitter. Again, I hate Twitter. I'm fine with not being on Twitter. My world is much happier not being on Twitter. I obviously still follow certain news topics so I can know what I need to talk about on a day-to-day -day basis with geeks and gamers, but being away from Twitter is a beautiful, beautiful thing. It truly is, and um, I would recommend a lot more people get away from Twitter. Twitter is trash, and uh, I wanted to get kicked off of it for a while. I finally did. I don't know why I was kicked off. Doesn't really matter. I'm just kind of curious for the sake of being curious, but uh, I'm happy. And most of my attention is going into our other YouTube channels. We have Sports Wars, where we just hit 10,000 subscribers. Park Hoppin, our theme park channel, which I'm so incredibly proud of. My team over there at Park Hoppin has been fantastic. Uh, Drunk3PO, Tugs, Lee, Odin. Um, Justin Proper, Krista Nova, so many people are doing so many amazing things over at Park Hoppin, and I'm so proud of the progress we're making, and then obviously we got Gaming with Geeks, we have our Twitch channel, but it all comes back to the website, geeksandgamers.com, and I'm really proud of everything we have going on over there, so please create an account for free, go on over there, hop into the forums, you'll have your own blog, and for $10 a month, if you want, you can consider becoming a premium member to get exclusive access from geeks and gamers you guys have a great day thank you very much for checking out this video solo lost money raylos are weird fuck naughty dog and we will talk to you later